Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So very excited because I am finally doing my ranking for my Sigma Beauty 9 Pan eyeshadow palette. So I had talked about this before that I was going to be doing my ranking when the four new ones came out, which was probably not too long ago. I think the video came out maybe a month or two ago. Um, the palettes themselves came out maybe two or three months ago, but I kind of teased that I was going to be doing this ranking and I finally got around to doing it because I wanted to use the other six palettes. I hadn't used them in a while, so I wanted to kind of um, rank them. And honestly, it was a lot harder than I thought. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And actually, before we get started, I do want to announce that I am finally an affiliate with Sigma Beauty. Very excited. Now, I have been um, promoting Sigma Beauty. I've been using Sigma Beauty. I pretty much have all of their palettes. I have all the cream blushes, and I've been purchasing them on my own, doing the videos. No affiliate link, no... Um, no promo code or anything, but I do really like the products. And they finally reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be an affiliate. So I am now an affiliate. So um, my affiliate link will be in the description box below. And my promo code is simply Shannon. So Shannon, and it will save you 10% off of um, any order, any time. However, if there's like a promo, sometimes if there's like a 30% like customer appreciation, uh, a lot of times that will save you 40%. And as I'm recording, Recording this right now, they are having a customer appreciation sale and it is a 30% off sale. However, if you use my promo code, it will save you 40%. So these um, palettes run $30, which makes them, um, I believe, $18 each, which is a steal. I think they're a great value at $30, but at $18, and that's the price that I purchased them at. There was a sale and I think I purchased them at 18 and I thought that was a really great deal. So, um, but anyway, so if you are interested in purchasing anything from Sigma, um, you know, using my affiliate link, I do get a, a commission from them and, but it does help my channel and it helps me to be able to purchase things in the future. And I am not yet on their PR list, but um, as, I, as I understand it is if, um, you know, people use my link, then I could get on the PR list. I think that's how it works. I don't know, but I will still continue to support the brand and then also continue to purchase the products that I think I'm interested in because I, again, I've, I've had really good luck. I really like the products. So let's get started with the ranking. Okay, so um, as I've talked about before, these are nine pan palettes. Um, the original six were pretty much um, uh, monochromatic and they, uh, you know, they're pretty much the same. And then they have the new four new ones, which had a little bit more color and a little bit more variety. Um, definitely, uh, I do think I really like the new ones a little bit more, but they didn't all end up one, two, three, four. So it's pretty interesting, but I do really like all of them except for one. And that is my number 10. And it's not that I don't like this one. It's just that I have just really struggled with this, this one, and I've talked about it in other videos in the past, and that is Hazy. So Hazy is a kind of purpley um, palette, and I just struggle with this one. And every time I do a look with this one, it just ends up looking a little muddy, and they all kind of look the same. Um, it's hard for me to get kind of a, a different look with it. The, the looks always kind of look the same, and again, the shades are just very, very similar. So I just really struggle with it. Now, if I only use like one or two shades, um, I can definitely, you know, make it very easy. And that's kind of how I used it. So I definitely still use it. I still make use of it. But if I'm looking for a purpley type, you know, color story, I just don't reach into this one. So, and this is probably the only one that I would say skip. Um, and I will recommend a different one in the future in, you know, one of the other palettes that I think is better, but has a similar color, or you're going to get similar looks with some of these colors. So this is Hazy, and this is my number 10. Okay, so from here on out, I do really like them all, and this is where it got hard. There's some that I think are good. I really like them. I can make good use of them, and then there's some that I just really love. So um, here on out, I really like all of them and I use this one today so actually wearing number nine today so you can kind of see and the the reason why it's number nine is 
it's just not consistent for me. I use this palette. I pulled this out for my son's award ceremony for his end of the school year. And we had to be there like at 8.30 in the morning. So I just was like, let me do something very simple and put it up. And I kind of struggled with it. And maybe it was just because I needed more coffee, but I just struggled with it. But then I did it today and the look just came together and I love the eye look that it came out with. But it is pretty basic and it is ritzy. Um, so it is a very basic neutral palette. Um, today I used this middle row. So I just used, this as the transition, this as the um, outer corner and this on the, um, the eyelid. And then I did use the shimmer, which is called Goss Gossamer. I used that on the inner corner and the brow bone. However, it just doesn't have a lot of punch in that shimmer. So I did go back in with my highlighter on the inner corner and highlighter. So that one just doesn't have a lot of punch. So I like this one. It's like a today. I got a really great look. Um, I think it's just not one of those. It looks like it can be an easy palette really fast, but it, it sometimes it's just not. So, um, you know, for that, it's just kind of, I guess, inconsistent, but I can get a really, you know, good look with it. And again, there's just not that shimmer is kind of, just doesn't really pack a lot of punch. However, for a day look for a 8.30 school assembly, it's actually a very pretty palette. So um, this is my number nine of the nine pans, uh, Ritzy. Okay, and number eight, um, I really love this one. And I actually thought when I first got this one that this was going to be one of my favorites. And um, I do really like it, but it's just not, it just didn't end up kind of surpassing any of the other ones. And that is Fiery, um, or I guess Fear, yeah, Fiery. So it's Fiery, and this is a very orangey, you know, fiery red, orange um, palette. It's very warm, which I love. I love these orangey copper shades. It looks really good. I have a warm undertone. I have blue eyes. This makes my blue eyes pop. Um, however, you know, I love this Scorch shade right here. It's really, let's see here. I love this Scorch shade right here, really buttery. Um, so it's a really gorgeous palette. I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just, it's butter. Um, there's just more that I like. There's just some of them that I like more. And I just tend to not reach into this. Usually when I'm looking for like an orangey coppery shade, I tend to go into my copper charge from Charlotte Tilbury, the little quad, because it's easy. Um, but I probably need to reach into this one more because I do, every time I use this one, I do like the looks. Um, so it's a really gorgeous. And this shimmer, um, uh, as opposed to the one the Fiery, this shimmer packs a little bit more punch. Um, I still would love a little bit more, but you know, for a nine pan, it's really great. So this is my number eight Fiery. Okay, number seven is the first of the brand new four palettes, and it is Beachy. So I did say when I first did the review of these four um, nine pans that this was probably my least favorite, mainly because I'm just not gonna use those two blue shades very often. I did use them, I did really like them when I went for a blue look, I just don't use them. However, if you take around those two blue shades, the rest of the palette's really gorgeous and very neutral. So it's very usable. And I love this black shade here. So there's a lot of depth. These two shimmers here, Riptide and Vacay, are absolutely gorgeous. So it's a really stunning, gorgeous. The quality is fantastic. I don't wear blue eyeshadow. These made wearing blue eyeshadow relatively easy for me. I got a look that I didn't hate, which is a lot for me to wear like bright colors. So I have been tempted and I have reached into this a lot. I have reached into this a little bit more not using the blue and had stunning looks. Using a very neutral look with this vacay shade is absolutely stunning. But when you're getting this, you kind of want to get the use the blue shade. So that's kind of why it's my number seven because I just don't use the blue shades. I haven't reached into the blue shades since I first got that. Um, and if I'm going to get like a green look, probably gonna reach into one of the other ones, which I'll talk about later. So this is my number seven, Beachy. But if you do like these shades or you're looking for like a blue and you don't have like blue eyeshadow, this is a really great combo. And I think it's a really great quality. And I think this, um, it's a really great nine pan. It's just not one of my faves. 
Okay, and number six. This is one that when I first got the original six was probably one of my favorites, and it's still one of my favorites. I've talked about it before, um, but it is one of my, I would say, complimentary palettes. I use this a lot to complement other palettes um, or add shimmer, because I don't think they have the shimmers here pack enough punch, at least not for me, but I can use this a lot with, with maybe palettes that need some mattes, and that is spicy. So I love this palette, it is great. I take this one on vacation with me all the time. It is the, the palette I take on vacation because you've got pretty much all the mattes in there. You've got some really pretty shimmers. And then I have, you know, my Blitz Astral quad from Pat McGrath that I can, you know, use these and then go in with one of the Blitz Astral shades or, um, you know, some other shimmer, something that packs a lot more punch that uh you know some of these shimmers lack so that's why this one is number six but this is a palette that is a staple in my in my makeup collection because i use it a lot um, i just tend to use it more as a complimentary palette which is why i'm ranking it number six because i kind of feel like it needs you know it needs a like you know, a friend <laughs> to make it a pack a little bit more punch. Now you can use it on your own. It is one that I, I absolutely will use on its own, but more for daytime. But if I'm looking for more of packing more punch for shimmer, I will use it at, I will complement it with another shimmer from somewhere else at night. Okay, so now we're into my top five. And if you are um, counting, you will notice that four of the five in the bottom were from the original palettes. So that means three of the top five are from the brand new ones, which says a lot. Um, and that is number five, and that is Jules. So Jules was one that surprised me, that I really liked, and honestly, I only bought this one. I actually only bought this one in Beachy because I bought the whole collection to review. I probably would not have done that. However, I just thought it was stunning, and it's a really gorgeous palette. And this is one where I was gonna say, this is one of the ones that if you like the purples um, from Hazy, then look into this palette because this row right here will kind of give you a lot. And then you can also add in some of the other shades, but that's gonna give you a lot of what is in Hazy. There's also another palette too that I will say, cause this is only gonna give you three shades, but this palette just gives you so much diversity. You've got this middle row here that has a lot of color. You've got a teal, a gold, and a purple. You've got some beautiful dark max. You got like two really good transition shades. You've got the shimmer, just a lot of diversity. Now, I don't really use the color that much, but you can really, it's made very simple. And these are probably color that I will use more than the blues. I'll use a teal or a gold or a purple more than I will use the blues, which is why the jewels is a little higher than beachy. But I just think it's beautiful and I've used it and I just, the looks that I've come out with every single time, I really love so this is one that kind of surprised me because i honestly didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i do and it is my number five my number four was my original favorite of the six and then as i've been using them more and as i redid them this has now kind of dropped to i guess number two of my original six and number four overall and that is ivy I love this palette. I think it's gorgeous. It's got such great versatility. You've got this gorgeous green here. You've got like this teal. You've got this deep green, just very neutral. But then also you've got the greens, the browns. I just, I, I love this. I bring this on vacation with me. I can get evening looks. I can get day looks. I can get everything out of it. I love it. It's just, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the, the reason why it's kind of dropped a little bit is because one of the other ones, Every time I wear it, even though I kind of gravitate to this one, I love it, when I wear the other one of the original six or I wear the other top three, I just like my looks more and I like how my makeup comes out more. And even though I love these colors, when I kind of like, I look back and I look at pictures or I look at videos, I like those looks more. So that's why this one kind of dropped to number four. I love playing with this one. It's very easy to play with. It's kind of an easy way to play with color because you've kind of got this pops of color and you've got this deep green, but it's not like, you know, it's almost like a deep brown or deep, you know, you know, so it's not hard to use. So very, very easy to use, but I love Ivy, but if this is my number four. Okay, so now for my number three, Sigma 9 Pan. This is the last of the original six, and this is Rosie. 
Rosie, again, this is one that surprised me and it just kind of, it wasn't ahead of Ivy originally. However, as I continue to use it, I just love it. I think it's great. And every time I use it, I just love how my eye look comes out. I used to say I'm not a pink eyeshadow person. I actually don't really like the color pink, but every time I wear this, I love how my eye looks. I love how my makeup looks. I love how, how it makes my blue eyes pop. It's just gorgeous. You've got a lot of diversity in the pinks here. You've got this like pink shimmery gold here. Just a lot of diversity. You can go really deep and smoky or you can go very light and airy. Just got a lot of um, diversity in this palette. And again, every time I wear it, I love how my makeup looks. I love how my eye looks. So, and when I, especially when I watch, wear it in videos, my blue eyes tend to pop, which I love. So this is my number three. This is Rosie. Now going with that theme, my number two is from the new palettes and it's electric pink. Um, so it is electric pink and it is somewhat similar. We kind of did this before. It's somewhat similar to rosy, but I don't think it's so much electric, but it's got a little bit more diversity and it's probably a little bit more pink and purpley than rosy is. So rosy's got a little bit more red to it, but um, it kind of just edged out rosy. And um, now I don't think you need both. Um, I love both. Personally, if I were to recommend, I would go with electric pink. But if you have rosy, then you probably don't need electric pink. But if you're looking to pick up one, I would go with electric pink because I think it just has a little bit more diversity. You've got some purpley, you just got a little bit more, again, diversity. I've said that a couple times. But I just think it's great. Ever again, every time I wear it, I love the way my eye looks. You can kind of make a more purpley look. This top shade, New Wave, at the top is just really, really pretty. So it's just a really gorgeous like topper shade. I just love this palette. It's really great. Um, again, when I ordered it, electric pink, I was like, I never, the name is deceiving. It's not really electric pink. It's like a muted electric pink, but it's stunning. I think it's great. And it's definitely one of my favorite palettes and I'm packing for vacation. This is probably gonna be in my vacation bag. And then finally, my number one of the Sigma Beauty nine pan palettes is the brand new Earthy. I would never have guessed this. I have always said I'm not a green eyeshadow person, but I love this palette. I've used it a couple times. Every time I love it, I love the way my eye looks. It's stunning. You've got a little bit more orangey neutrals. It's a, it is, it's, it's an earthy palette. That's exactly what it is. I've never really liked green eyeshadow, but this one makes it so easy. I, it's very muted. It's very neutral, but I just, every time I wear it, I love my eye look. And this was my favorite of the four new palettes. I said that in that video and it has continued to be up there and it is now my favorite. If I recommend of any of the of the, the, ten, the nine pans from Sigma, let's say you're going to pick up one, I would pick up Earthy and then the second one I would pick up Electric Pink. It's going to give you a lot of diversity and but my number one is absolutely Earthy. So there you have it. That is my ranking of my Sigma Beauty nine pan eyeshadow palettes. I love these palettes and this is one of the reasons why I love them. They are so compact. This is all 10 palettes. They're so compact. These are great for travel. I could easily bring all 10 with me on vacation. I'm not, but I easily could. But if I was going on a two week vacation, I could easily pack all 10 with me. I love the way they store. They don't take up a lot of space. The name is written on the edge. It's like a book where you could kind of like stack them like this and I don't have to look on the outside. The packaging was just honestly genius. I think these are great. I don't miss the mirror in these. I think not having a mirror just makes it more affordable. You have the magnetic closure. You can see what's on the inside with the clear packaging. Um, they're just so, so, so thin. And if you wanna compare, I have my Pat McGrath. Um, it's just, look how thin this is. And you're gonna get, you know, it is, it's literally half the size of the the four, the quad from, from Pat McGrath. So I just love them. And I think they're great for vacation because they're not gonna take up a lot of space. And like, even if I took, like let's say five, this is it. This is, I mean, I could take five palettes and this is all the space it's gonna take, which is great. So love these palettes. I think they're great. $30 is a great price, but again, Sigma constantly have sales. So I would say wait for a sale, um, at least 30%. 
if you're watching this as this goes up, you could say 40% with my code, which is Shannon. Appreciate it if you use my link, but if not, don't worry about it. Um, but uh, I do think Sigma Beauty has great quality, gets consistent quality, and easy to use. And that's one of the reasons why I love. They also have great brushes. I'll probably be doing on a video one time on their brushes in the near future. But with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.